Over the last several months, the competition for the championship belts in the World Wrestling Empire has been intense and controversial. Accordingly, K. Skyam, president of the board of directors, has ordered all the belts be put in jeopardy. Last week, you saw the finals of the tag team tournament as the bad boys defeated the Texas Outlaws with somewhat questionable tactics. But tonight, in response to President K. Skyam's ruling, you're going to witness a dual main event. That's right. Both the heavyweight title and the television title are on the line. First Red Eagle faces the Annihilator in the Battle of the Titans. Extra cables were placed under the ring for this event as Annihilator, stinging from his defeat to Red Eagle in a non-title event, throws everything he's got into this match. And believe me, that's a lot of beer and peanut butter. Then in the second main event, the high-flying Shane Cortez squares off against the original Renegade with the WWE television title on the line. There's plenty of bad blood in this one as Cortez faces the man he once trusted as his tag team partner, the man who betrayed him and mocked him in front of the world. So hold tight to your seats, wrestling fan, for the night is young and anything can happen in the World Wrestling Empire. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of DabCon Video and the World Wrestling Empire, in the immortal words of Ted Nugent, let's rock! of the World Wrestling Empire! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Ledge, and I've got a surprise co-host coming at you in a little while. And we got some of the greatest action anywhere in professional wrestling tonight. You're going to see the return of one half the hillbilly from Mule Kill, Texas, with Crazy Carl returns to the World Wrestling Empire. Also watch as Predator and Rebel take on Newcomer, the boys of rock and roll, and then two main events. One, Red Eagles and Eagle takes on the heavyweight champion Annihilator, and then Shay Cortez gets a chance for revenge and the return of the TV title when he challenges Renegade. That's all right here tonight on the World Wrestling Empire. Don't go away, we're going to be right back. is expanding. No, not Jimmy, the showroom. To make more room for all your appliance needs. We've expanded our lines of new furniture with Washington Dykes and Seville. And as always, we have a full line of quality pre-owned appliances. So whether you need a refrigerator, stove, washer, dryer, TV or VCR, come to Conley Appliances and either purchase or rent to own. And don't forget our service after the sale. Come by Conley's on the corner of 49th West Avenue and Charles Page Boulevard and see our expanded showroom. And remember... Vern Jewelry is still next door. Break one nine for a lonely trucker. Can anyone copy? How about Guys, you? where do you go when you How just got to get on that channel? Calgary. Try Radio City CB. Radio City has Where's new grants. You did in Galaxy and Cobra radios, fire stick and hustler antennas, and they're an authorized Wilson dealer. Mama got you on a budget? Radio City has a large selection of pre-owned radios for anyone's pocketbook. Whether it's installation, service, or just the rock bottom prices, the next time you just got to get through, think Radio City CB. In the northwest corner of the parking lot, Bruce's Hello? truck stop, 161st Hello? and Skelly Drive. Out there. Hi there. Can you keep a secret? The next World Wrestling Empire live event is Saturday night, December 2nd. The secret? WWE is bringing in some nationally known wrestling talent to compete in our arena. Who are they? It's a secret. They won't even tell me yet. Saturday night, December 2nd, National Guard Army, 4200 North Mingo Valley Expressway. Doors open at 7 o'clock, bell time's at 8 o'clock. Watch this space for more details. And shh, don't tell anybody. Need insurance if you have a car, boat, or motorcycle, even if you have traffic tickets or a DUI. If you own a business, if you are a renter, Try Us for Insurance has been serving Oklahoma since 1951. We are property and casualty insurance specialists. Try Us for Insurance, an independent agent for property and casualty insurance. Try Us for Insurance, 831 North Sheridan, Tulsa. That's 834-5663. You know, Colonel Mustafa, it's Halloween in Oklahoma. But you know, the entire state of Oklahoma is one big horror story. And you know, Shane Cortez fell for that big, big...
stupid joke. Yes, he believed all along that Raymond was his friend, but we knew differently, right, Mustafa? What do you think of Shane Cortez? That Taco Bell wannabe, when we're done with him, he's gonna be lucky if he'd ever get a job around this town. He's nothing but a sharecropper. Comes up from Mexico, trying to beat up on us, it'll never happen. We've got the money, we've got the power, and we've got the general. We don't need anything else. That's right, so it's serious time for you, Shane. And that goes for everybody in the WWE. Now, so far, I went to the WWE headquarters, and you see, nobody has come forward to sign on that dotted line, which proves one thing. When you're in the state of Oklahoma, you got a big yellow streak down your back. I've said it all along, and people here in Oklahoma remember when I kicked Bill Watts, Danny Hodge, the junkyard dog, and all those punks around. I'm still here, and where are they? That's right. Where are they? Akbar's still here. They're sitting underneath a whirlpool box somewhere downtown Tulsa. That's where they're going to end up. Anybody messing with the colonel and anybody who messed with the general, they've had it. They're done with WWE. All oh, you so-called goblins. This is Halloween. <laughs> All you goblins here in the state of Oklahoma. All you got to do is sign and we'll get into that square circle and we'll prove it once and for all that devastation rules wherever it may be. There's a lot of disrespectful people right now watching this. But I can tell you right now, you may not love Akbar, but you got to admit when Akbar's around, I make results happen. All right, welcome back to the World Wrestling Empire where we have just seen an interview by this gentleman, Skandar Akbar, as a, his band of Devastation Incorporated invades Tulsa, Oklahoma. Another great night for the WWE. And once again, when I'm here, I always give class to wherever I go. Oh. General Akbar is on the scene, Devastation Incorporated. Another big hour of wrestling coming up on the WWE. That's right, and I'll tell you, it's time to get this underway right here when we've got a gentleman from your stables from Helsinki, Finland, uh, in Otto von Heffler, a newcomer to the World Wrestling Empire, but a star by his own right. Oh, Otto's coming along very, very rapidly. Uh, he's a fast-rising superstar in professional wrestling. And, of course, WWE is the place to be now. It's the new era in professional wrestling. That's right, and he's going to take on one half of one of the most popular teams in the Empire when we see Crazy Carl returning to the squared circle. I tell you, let's, let's get it underway right here. Let's take it to Kathy in the ring. And now, coming in first, he hails from Helsinki, from the stables of Skandar Akbar, Otto Von Heffler. Otto Von Heffler, of course, is accompanied by Colonel Mustafa, another associate of the General Skandar Akbar. Very ill-tempered individual, I believe. Otto Von Heffler. Colonel Mustafa. Colonel Mustafa. Representing Demonstration Incorporated, as always. I want to ask you a very pertinent question. Who in their right mind wants to be called crazy? Well, that's where the question we're going to answer right here. Take it away, Kathy. Crazy. His opponent weighing 320 pounds from Muleshoe, Texas, Crazy Carl. All right, here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. One of the more popular members of a, a wildly enthusiastic tag. Team Crazy Carl from Mule Shoe, Texas. Right there he goes. I'm completely revolting. Crazy Carl. He has to be demented, I understand. But he belongs to the Yes, and uh, I, I believe he's already working in a manure pit part time, uh, aside from his wrestling chores. Crazy Carl having a little bit of a. I don't know what he's doing with the Colonel over there, Akbar. Disgusting. Why they, uh, I'm going to tell you, you know, i got to tell you right here. The, the hillbillies from Mule to Shoe, Texas are ring-wise strategists. Now, this may all look like silliness to you, but it is an obvious attempt at distracting a, a, an athlete who depends on a great deal of concentration. Now, that should have been a distraction. Go, oh, and here we go. There, and the match starts. Otto's on his man. He knows what to do. 
Otto Von Heffler, enough of the silliness. Let's get some wrestling underway, and he goes after Crazy Carl. Nice. Very, very good. Good move by Otto Von Heffler. Moves in with the boot and uh, indicates to Colonel Mustafa this could be too easy tonight. Oh, Crazy Carl goes in, puts a few teeth into the hind quarters of Otto Von Heffler. And that's definitely a disqualification. That's disgusting. That is definitely a disqualification. That is it, it is disgusting. Yeah, he's going to have to brush his teeth now. My stars, that, that's, that's terrible. Otto Von Heffler moves in now, upset with that last little move by Crazy Carl. Going to go after him, trying to take it to him earlier. To be a big success in professional wrestling, you've got to stay on your opponent. When he's down, you've got to grasp, and I'll use another little word, you surf the advantage. Very good. You take advantage of it immediately. Right. All right, and right now, Otto Von Heffler torquing it down hard on the cranial area of Crazy Carl. And uh, well, perhaps he needs a little work in that area, I would say. I would say so. <laughs> yeah, there is one thing we can definitely agree on is that he could squeeze and squeeze on the head of Crazy Carl, and I just honestly don't think it'll have much effect. <laughs> Would you believe me if I'm telling you, you know, I was, the Texas Outlaws were in Devastation Incorporated. Now they're sending smoke signals to me, but they want to be associated with me because, you know, they're tired of eating hot dogs. Uh, uh, and I fed them caviar. And Shane Cortez is the most idiotic, moronic, stupid imbecile that I've ever seen to fall for what he fell for, as you Americans say. Well, that you know was, I know what you're talking about. It was quite the little setup act, and uh, I got to congratulate you on masterminding it. Meanwhile, back in the ring, crazy Carl, Otto Von Heffler. Carl going in for a pin, not able to hold it. Otto kicks out. Oh, a headbutt. Crazy Carl going at Otto well, Von Heffler. When you're in the head, I'm, it certainly makes it a hard substance, what do you think? No, I think definitely, most definitely. Crazy Carl with an elbow to the back now. Both men uh, already showing signs of fatigue. That's a lot of weight to be moving around that ring. Otto Von Heffler works Crazy Carl, oh, right sets him into the ropes. No, oh, tosses him Outside. out underneath the bottom rope. Here. Outside. Referee James Pinkerton right there in the ring. Does not call the disqualification. Colonel Mustafa there at the ringside gets involved a little bit. He's trying to stick something back into his pocket. I believe he was just helping, helping, uh, what's his name, Crazy Carl, back in the square circle. Oh, I, I don't know. Right now, Colonel Mustafa's got that briefcase. Full of money. Full of money. Yes, well, that's Devastation Incorporated. I believe that Colonel now, Mustafa... Colonel is, Mustafa's role, let, let me clarify. His role is to represent Akbar at all times, of course. But when we scout talent, the talent's available, the money's there, we take the briefcase, we shell out the money, and that's ours. Right. Now there you have it, referee James Pinkerton stops the match. Crazy Carl fails to return to the ring after the 10 count. Otto Von Heffler has been declared winner of the match by disqualification. Um, Otto doesn't look like he's ready to get out of the ring, though. He wants a little more action tonight. A great win for Otto did it all by himself. Did it all oh. by himself. Oh, oh, this is a sad day indeed for one half of the hillbillies from Mule Shoe, Texas. Crazy Carl is in a lot of trouble there on the concrete, but hopefully not seriously injured. I don't understand. I should in white looking for somebody outside of the arena. Now I know who they're looking for. Crazy uh, Luke. Crazy uh, Luke. Crazy Carl. Crazy Carl. Crazy Carl. Oh, man, I'll tell you, we got a lot of action coming at you tonight in the World Wrestling Empire. There's a good shot as Crazy Carl tries to make it to his feet with a little assistance from security. I'm the ledge with the general himself, Skandar Akbar, right here in the World Wrestling Empire. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be right back. Promotional consideration provided by the following. Dabcom Video. Don't let your business be the best kept secret in town. Call Dabcom Video. Skyam Graphics. Proudly providing the World Wrestling Empire event programs. 
Sir Knight Formal Wear. When you want to look right, Sir Knight. Try us for insurance for your home, car, or business. The World Wrestling Empire is on the move, and we want to take you with us. Not around the globe, but around the channel. That's right. Starting Sunday, December 3rd, our time slot is moving to noon Sundays. That's noon, as in 12 o'clock daylight. Hey, no more sneaking around to stay up late or oversleeping on Fridays. So get this straight. Don't look for us on Thursday, November 30th, because we won't be there. That's Sundays at noon, starting December 2nd, TCI Cable, Channel 9. Hi. I'm Glenn DeWeese, the owner of Davcom Video and the director of tonight's show. And this is the edit suite where we put it all together. You know, it's a proven fact that people who both see and hear information remember significantly more than people who only see or hear it. Recent advances in video technology have brought high quality video within the reach of even the smallest business or organization. If you have a video need for anything from large multi-camera shoots from cheerleading competitions to professional wrestling, or perhaps you want to showcase your product in a trade show or create a training video for your employees, Davcom Video offers turnkey production from scripting to making your copies. And we'll work with your budget to give you the best video product your money can buy. Call us now, 749-9447. References available on request. All right, welcome back to the World Wrestling Empire, where we got lots of great more action. Now, we got some newcomers coming up here. The boys of rock and roll, they're from Cleveland, Ohio, the home of rock and roll. This is a new and upcoming tag team in the World Wrestling Empire, and they're taking on some very ill-tempered gentlemen, the Tennessee Rebel and Predator. All right, I'll tell you what. Predator, I like it. I like it. The Predator, Tennessee Rebel, Rock and Roll. It all blends in at the WWE. It sure does. And I'll tell you, right now is a good chance. Let's take it to Kathy in the ring. And now, approaching the ring with a combined total weight of 460 pounds, Tennessee Rebel and Predator. Tennessee Rebel of the Predator trying to get a little reaction out of the crowd. I think they got one, but not quite what they were looking for. Two of us was very proud of their heritage. Very proud of their heritage. Predator. Did you say ill-tempered? Very ill-tempered. Ill-tempered. Tonight, brand new to the World Wrestling Empire from Cleveland, Ohio, the tag team of Rock and Roll. All right, the new boys from Cleveland, Ohio, Rock and Roll, here to take on Rebel, the Tennessee Rebel, and the Singapore martial arts trained Predator. Referee James Pinkerton in the ring, checking over the wrestlers. I haven't had the opportunity to see either uh, combatants in that square circle. It's going to be interesting. This should be a it's good It's going match. to be interesting. Of course, Rock and Roll are two of the upcoming newcomers to the World Wrestling Empire. And there's the bell. Looks like a Rock starts in against the Tennessee Rebel. Collar and elbow tie-up. Oh, Rebel works it over into wrist lock. And nice counter. Nice reversal by Rock, who goes into an arm bar. Kind of put a little pressure on that shoulder area. You got to put a little pressure. Hold it tight. Hold it snug. Put pressure. Once you start on a body part in professional wrestling, you go after that body part. You wear your opponent down, and then you're on your way to victory. But it's not as all easy as people are reddening and saying, well, hey, it looks kind of easy. Friend, it is not easy. This is the toughest, this is a man's game, the toughest profession in the world. That's exactly right. Nothing more dangerous than a well-trained professional wrestler as Tennessee Rebel is attempting to show the newcomer rock. Nice move. Nice. Whip off the ropes, drives him to the mat. 
Rock from the tag team of Rock and Roll in a lot of trouble. Rebel set him up, body slam. There's the tag. Right now, Predator, the more experienced wrestler, taking it to one half the tag team, Rock and Roll. These guys are new to the Empire. First time in the ring right here tonight as we attempt to bring more talent from all over the United States right here to Tulsa, Oklahoma. There's a lot of cards and telegrams coming into the WWE headquarters, I understand, wanting to come in to this fine, fine wrestling federation. That's it's getting tougher. Tonight. The competition is keen. It's fierce. And it's exciting to watch. As the World Wrestling Empire continues its assault on your televisions, yeah. there is a savat kick by the Predator sends Rock to the mat. Meanwhile, Tennessee Rebel steps in. There's a whip off the ropes. Oh, high back body. Nice drop kick. There's the tag and roll comes into the ring against the Tennessee Rebel. Oh, and Tennessee Rebel from the ropes manages to catch the roll. Not looking, hits him with a nice shot. And he's in trouble. It is in trouble. Oh, rakes the eyes across the road. You've got to go down all the avenues. You've got to use what you can. You're out there to win a match, and each match that you win means you climb that staff litter here at the WWE. That's exactly right. You know, the team of rock and roll doing a fine job of tagging in and out of the ring, keeping a man fresh. Uh, also got a comment that Predator and Tennessee Rebel for a, 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 a new attempt at tagging together are doing quite well. For a young tag team, these two guys have managed to stick it out with these guys for a good it's amount of time. It's very, very so surprising far. to me that they haven't met defeat as yet, which shows they do have intestinal fortitude. Tagged by the Tennessee Rebel, Predator once again into the ring. There's the whip off the rope. Oh, and Predator goes with the double this thrust. This could be it. That is it. All right, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The tag team of Predator and the Tennessee Rebel have just defeated newcomers to the Empire Rock and Roll. Alright, the crowd somewhat divided over that decision. Tennessee Rebel and Predator taking the opportunity to gloat just a little bit. victory by those guys. So now let's talk about this next match coming up here. We've got a, a gentleman who has earned the rights to this match. Red Eagle comes in a couple of weeks ago, defeats Annihilator. Annihilator at that point had refused to put up his belt, but Eagle has earned a shot at it right here tonight against the Big A. Red Eagle. I understand. I know Red Eagle. And against the big eight. That should be very, very exciting. You say that he earned his right. Yeah, that's right. But he hasn't defeated the champion. Not yet, and we're going to see that we'll happen see right now. So I'll tell you, let's quit talking about it and get the action underway right here. Let's take it to Kathy Earth in the way. ring.
Here's the big man. He and I were the thing we noticed the most about the Big A is that peanut butter and beer diet that he is on is continuing to expand his waistline. But he has expertise advice in Silverado, like the men or not. You know, Silverado takes a lot of advice from the general. Yes, sir. He's real. right there at ringside. Right, Alan Lane has a few words for the Annihilator about something going on at ringside. We'll try to get an indication as to what that is. All right, the referee Alan Lane uh, looks like he's trying to get the uh, bad boys to leave ringside. In the meantime, it looks like Red Eagle and Annihilator are ready to tangle right now, no matter what the referee says. Referee Alan Lane checks around, looks around, checks the wrestlers. I believe the Annihilator is a little All right. stanky move to uh, calm Red Eagle down, so to speak. All right, there's the bell. Red Eagle trying to raise the support of the crowd to his aid. <laughs> Collar and elbow tie-up. Annihilator there goes showing the power of the Annihilator. He is a powerful man. Shows excellent strength early. 300 pounds plus and knows how to use it. That's right, Red Eagle and Annihilator circling the ring. There's a collar and elbow tie-up once again. These guys trying to fill each other out to determine a strategy for the night. Annihilator showing superior strength at this point. Looks like Red Eagle has to go back to the drawing board because what he's doing is not working right now. All right, there they go. Red Eagle works it into an overhead arm bar. Torquing down hard on the Annihilator. This now we'll right get here. a chance to see the strength of the Annihilator. Oh, Annihilator gets into the ropes. The referee Alan Lane orders the hold broken. Red Eagle backs off once again. The crowd coming to the support of Red Eagle. Red Eagle certainly has this uh, match cut out for him tonight. If he's going to get that uh, diadem, that... Uh, that championship man championship belt he's gonna have to come on a little stronger than that he's facing a big powerful individual with expert material genius on the outside of that ring and right now every bit of that training beginning to pay off as annihilator takes a uh, superior position early in this match he has the momentum swinging with him at this point Silverado stalking ringside with a giant smile on his face. He seems almost positive of victory tonight. Annihilator, Red Eagle. Heavyweight action in the World Wrestling Empire. Annihilator trying to get the test of strength going. It's a little intimidating move. Annihilator has uh, not been known for his ability to uh, faithfully execute this maneuver. We usually see some form of uh, something go on about halfway through this. Right here, Little working it hard. Strength. Obviously, Red Eagle will come out on the short end of this test of strength. Right there is an excellent shot by the cameraman. Both wrestlers right there trying to power each other into submission. must admit, a very, very good move on the part of Red Eagle. All right, Red Eagle heads outside the ring after Annihilator goes after him with that elbow. There's their the referee has side. to be Johnny on the spot. He's got to maintain order. Red Eagle back in underneath the rope. All right, Silverado there tending to his man, Annihilator. Referee James Pinker, or er, I'm sorry, that's Alan Lane there refereeing tonight for this match. Right in there in the middle of the action. Now that uh, both men have felt each other out, it's time to grab the offensive some way. Somebody has to take the upper hand right now. 
match has swung back and forth at this point. Both wrestlers have at one time or another been able to carry the momentum early in this match. Not That's later. using that squared circle. You're in trouble closely. You put your foot on the ropes. The referee has to break the hole. All right, here we go. Another big chop to the top of Annihilator's head. There's a whip off the ropes. Oh, and the giant boot, a red eagle, right into the face of Annihilator. Would did this, would this be termed an upset should Red Eagle win? I think both men are almost evenly matched, although Red Eagle is not as powerful and strong, but maybe he has a heart. I don't like him. I like the Annihilator, as you know. But he does have some guts. Oh, and now Red Eagle rolls Silverado into the ring, but Annihilator gets in and is able to protect his uh, personal trainer. Annihilator with some quick blows to Red Eagle, sets the big man onto the oh, top rope. Oh, big powerful chop. Big powerful chop. Giant That's the way you do it. you got to remember, both these wrestlers are in excess of 320 pounds each. They are giants, each in their own right. Now here we got something kind of interesting going on at ringside. What's this guy in this, uh, what, what is this over here by Silverado? Some, some body, must be somebody out of the crowd in that, in that. Well, we're, we're, we're very, very close to Halloween, so who knows? This is just another horror story, I'm, I'm uh, some, Somebody oh. out of the crowd's up there, and it looks like a white gorilla suit of some sort of. Shook hands with Silverado, and kind of just watching what's going on. Oh, oh, nice move by Red Eagle. Goes in for the pin. One, two. Almost there. Then I later to fight back. My lady raises the shoulder on the two count. Red Eagle back in with the reverse headlock. This is with all the working out, the strenuous physical activity that you do when you're a professional wrestler. This is where it pays off. This is uh, similar to the fourth quarter of a football game. You come right down to it. And this is what's happening out there. All right, Red Eagle trying for the pin. Annihilator still is able to get that shoulder off the mat. Right now, Red Eagle is attempting to uh, cut the blood circulation off to the brain of Annihilator. It'll make his man groggy, possibly put him out, and he'll be able to move in for the pin. Oh, nice strength move by Annihilator. Annihilator has still, his power is still there. He has to gauge himself. He has to regroup. He's got to start scratching to get back into this match. All right, right now, Red Eagle is taking it to Annihilator. Annihilator looks a little groggy from the uh, pressure exerted on him earlier. As I've said before, this is where all your, your workouts and your strenuous physical activity, this is where it has to pay off. All right, and Annihilator able to get that shoulder up on the one count. He's got to reach deep down in his arsenal to make a comeback in this match. All right, and the momentum has shifted again as Annihilator is in a superior position over Red Eagle. And don't think the mighty Mo does it. It's not important to wrestling. I'm talking about momentum. It certainly is. That's exactly right. The man that can carry the momentum the most often will win these matches. And right now, that momentum, had, or that pendulum, as you could call it, has swung. What a leg circle. Giant leg drop. That, that was, could be, well be a very, very strategic move that may finish Red Eagle. Oh, Red Eagle able to get that shoulder up on an almost three count. Silverado complains at ringside. Who is, what, or what is the object of ringside? I, I don't know what's but, going on there. I, I, can't, I don't understand. Look at Rilla in my monitor. At first, at first, I thought it was a giant rabbit. I thought maybe Harvey had finally appeared. Oh, but now I'm beginning to, uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, it looks like one of the fans out of the audience just popped up and decided to well, watch well, they it. Had, they had a costume uh, contest here. That's exactly right. And, uh, but I don't recall seeing this guy in the contest. Um, well, he seems very amused, or he likes Silverado. And he, yeah, he seems to have buddied up to Silverado. Silverado takes the... Uh, Red Eagle's exit from the ring is an opportunity to uh, get involved in this match. The giant from Coweta, Oklahoma, Red Eagle, 
slow to get to his feet and rolls back in underneath the bottom rope. Now Red Eagle has to reach down in his arsenal. And the way it switches in wrestling, it's not like playing any kind of ball where you have extra people. This is one on one. That's what, that's what makes wrestling so unique and a man's game because you're on your own. That's exactly right. There's nobody to help you. That's exactly right. There's a whip off the rope. Oh, and a big, giant shoulder by Both the Chief down. Red Eagle. The referee's counting. Somebody has to make it up. He's going for a double count. Somebody's got to get on their feet. They could win this match if they can just get up. Both men reaching deep down within their souls to find the intestinal fortitude to get to their feet. Both giants rise. Big shot Whip into the turnbuckles, oh, Red Eagle, oh, big misses! Mistake. Big mistake, big Red Eagle made it. Annihilator it's goes with it. Red Eagle once again. Two and a half counts. Once again, the Eagle reaches deep down inside himself, finds and the strength to lift that those shoulder. Big and he's wailing away at him. Annihilator has at this point injured the chief, Red Eagle, taking it to him. No! Oh! Oh, Red Eagle coming back. Couple of big chops to Annihilator. Keep your human up in the road. Red Eagle. Boom. Red Eagle with the clothesline drives Annihilator down. Annihilator looks to be out. Referee right there in the middle of the action, Alan Red Lane. Is down. This is his way of taking a break away from the action. The referee can't do anything because he's in the ropes, but actually that means that you're ahead. When you're in trouble, you need to do things like that. Gets the ropes, allows you the opportunity to rest, slightly get your wind and your bearings back in that ring, as demonstrated by Annihilator fighting his way back. Both men exhibiting one of the hallmarks of a good professional wrestler, and that is their recovery time from this serious blows. This has been blows. a grueling match. This has, this has been a grueling match. It's been a battle of arm bars, uh, step over toe holes. It's been a matter. It's been a, been a match of, of, of a, several holes that have been punished, and both men are still going at it. Exactly right. A lot of weight in that ring rolling around there. There's the big A calling for. The type of action you see on WWE. That's exactly right. Can't be beat anywhere. Yeah. They're going for the big one. This could be the end. It's the deadly pile driver. The big A tries to. Oh, oh and there's the reverse by Red Eagle. Second. Red Eagle once again reaches way down deep inside, pulls out that little bit of extra strength required to pull Annihilator what, what, over. What, what, what. One, two, three. Uh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Some distraction by, I guess it was a fan, I don't know. Red Eagle has just defeated Annihilator from the World Wrestling Empire heavyweight fan. a great shot of the new World Wrestling Empire heavyweight champion, Red Eagle. I question whoever or whatever was in the gorilla suit. Who? What? I, I don't Where? know. Why? I, I thought he was a fan, but as soon as it was over, he went running out. I, I don't have any idea who it could have possibly been. Well, he crossed us up because he showed a life the Silverado when he went out there and all of a sudden who knows I, I don't know all I know is every night in the World Wrestling Empire is a night full of surprises and you've just seen it as Red Eagle defeats Annihilator for the World Wrestling Empire heavyweight belts all right okay ladies and gentlemen coming up next we're going to see Shane Cortez as he takes on the original Renegade in a pole match 
for the TV title belt. But first, a word from our sponsors. I'm the ledge with the general himself, Skandar Agbar. Don't go away, we're gonna be right back. Break one nine for a lonely trucker. Can anyone copy? How that Guys, where do you go when you just got to get on that channel? Calgary. Try Radio City CB. Radio City has We're new grants. You did in Galaxy and Cobra Radio, Spar Stick and Hustler antennas, and they're an authorized Wilson dealer. Mama got you on a budget? Radio City has a large selection of pre-owned radios for anyone's pocketbook. Whether it's installation, service, or just the rock bottom prices, the next time you just got to get through, think Radio City CB. In the northwest corner of the parking lot, Bruce's Hello? Truck Stop, 161st Hello. and Skelly Drive. Out there. Insurance, if you have a car, boat, or motorcycle, even if you have traffic tickets or a DUI, if you own a business, if you are a renter, try us for insurance has been serving Oklahomans since 1951. We are property and casualty insurance specialists. Try us for insurance, an independent agent for property and casualty insurance. Try us for insurance, 831 North Sheridan, Tulsa, that's 834-5663. Can you keep a secret? The next World Wrestling Empire live event is Saturday night, December 2nd. The secret? WWE is bringing in some nationally known wrestling talent to compete in our arena. Who are they? It's a secret. They won't even tell me yet. Saturday night, December 2nd, National Guard Armory, 4200 North Mingo Valley Expressway. Doors open at 7 o'clock, bell time's at 8 o'clock. Watch this space for more details. And shh, don't tell anybody. This is expanding. No, not Jimmy, the showroom. To make more room for all your appliance needs. We've expanded our lines of new furniture with Washington Dykes and Seville. And as always, we have a full line of quality pre-owned appliances. So whether you need a refrigerator, stove, washer, dryer, TV, or VCR, come to Conley Appliances and either purchase or rent to own. And don't forget our service after the sale. Come by Conley's on the corner of 49th West Avenue and Charles Page Boulevard and see our expanded showroom. And remember... Vern Jewelry is still next door. Hi, I'm standing here with Shane Cortez, the World Wrestling Empire's number one television title contender. Uh, you and Renegade have a long history of feuding. Are you going to change anything about it tonight? That's right. We feuded once, we feuded twice. I've turned my back. He's been on me. I go down the alley, he's there. I've been in the ring, he's there. I thought I had a friend. He put me in the hospital. I, I covered everything. I told myself I can bury the hatchet. But can you bury the hatchet? Renegade, I don't know if you can bury the hatchet or not. But let me tell you something. I'm sick and tired of digging a hole and putting a hatchet in the ground. Now, tonight's match is a pole match. Are you going to do anything different? Different? Pole match? Yeah. You come up to me. You want my title? You got it. Now I've got to fight you to get it back. I'm going to fight you to no end, buddy. Your rules is a mat, a pole, a pole that I've got to climb to get to. That's my belt. I've earned that belt, Renegade. Renegade, when I'm done with you, I will not ever have to worry about turning my back on you. Because I'll tell you what, after the one, two, three, and I climb up there and get that belt, it's going to be all over with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the World Wrestling Empire where you have just de witnessed the defeat of the Annihilator at the hands of Red Eagle. And then we had a little interview by Shane Cortez who had a few words. Shane Cortez is a glutton for punishment. You see, this punk hasn't learned to respect the general, and he will. When I'm through with him, I'll put a choker chain around his neck and march him all across this rotten state of Oklahoma. I'll tell you once, and I'll tell you again, Shane Cortez, you keep your dirty little mouth shut, and there's no way that you're going to win another match at WWE as long as I have anything to do about it. Well, I, enough said about that. I'll tell you, let's just get this one underway. Here we got it, Shane Cortez and Renegade in a pole match. What you're going to see on top of that pole is a bag full of money that goes to the winner. That's going to be right here, so let's take it to Kathy in the ring. Cortez. 
Rock held that belt for a long time, was tricked into a loss by the general himself, and it, it you know it took several months of scheming to accomplish that feat, and now Cortez has returned to try to regain that belt. His opponent, he is the World Wrestling Empire TV Champion, weighing in at 215 pounds from Blue Rapids, Kansas, the original Renegade. All right, the original Renegade comes to the ring in the World Wrestling Empire. <laughs> All right, here we got these guys lining up for a big match tonight. The original Renegade, part of Devastation Incorporated, his personal trainer is the flamboyant one, Flamin' Raymond. Now, who's, here we go, this guy in the ring again with this... Who is he? He's all I know is the gorilla suit, and he, he seems to indicate he wants to referee. I, I, I don't hey. get it with this. Why do we need a white These gorilla people refereeing? Out here in uh, TV land. But you just shut up. You shut up. This guy, he seems like a nice guy. Oh, they've decided. He wants to referee this match. We don't care who ever wants to referee this match. It don't matter who it is. We'll allow it if Cortez, you allow it. All right, now they're having a little discussion about this white gorilla wanting to referee. What do you think? Do you think I should let this guy referee my match? Yeah! Yeah! No. <laughs> I, 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 I'm speechless here. We got this one. They've agreed to it. Oh, it's Doug McCoy! It's referee Doug McCoy has returned from some serious injuries, injuries, injuries administered at the hands of the bad boys. There's the bell. Let's get the match underway. Referee Doug McCoy returns to the World Wrestling Empire. Renegade and Raymond are upset. Unbelievable. What a move by referee Doug McCoy. And that explains the problems with Annihilator ringside earlier. Obviously it does. Woo. Unbelievable. What a turn of events we've seen. This is going to be so uh, Doug McCoy is turned the tables on Devastation Incorporated with that little move. And right now, they will pay. the Renegade, the original Renegade with Shane Cortez going at it once again. Whip off the rope. Oh, nice move by Cortez. Oh! Oh, oh lot, there will be a lot of discussion in the weeks to come about that one. Lots of discussion, and right now Shane Cortez in against the original Renegade. This match refereed by referee Doug McCoy. All right, right now, Renegade able to obtain the upper hand I'm on the Renegade's Cortez. got the upper hand right now. Oh! Shane Cortez out over the second rope. Referee Doug McCoy indicates he won't take anything so off of him. For an official to conduct himself during a match. He's out there to call it one, two, three. He's out there to call the match, not to get involved. Referee Doug McCoy responding to the antics of the Renegade. Little intimidation practiced by this wrestler. 
Shane Cortez attempts to fight his way back to his feet. Oh, big knee lift. Now, why is the knee warm? But this is not about senior wrestling. He's acting like a future of the here. You know, Shane Cortez is a very demented young man. He a is very, very demented. demented young man. The, the, the guy shows no fear is, is about is what I can That's say because about he's Shane stupid. Cortez. That's no because fear. his stupidity shines. Right now, Shane Cortez exhibiting some of that amateur wrestling skill. As we all know, he was a state champion in high school. Came to the professional ranks as an amateur Renegade wrestler. Renegade counters with a beautiful, beautiful move. The Renegade loves devastation. He loves to fly with the Eagles and not call him a gutter with other people. All right, fine series of reverses by both wrestlers. The Renegade finally manages to get into the ropes and the hold is broken. Shane Cortez, the original Renegade, sizing each other up in the middle of the squared circle. Once again, this match is for that TV title that's hanging on the top of that pole. No, oh, big boot. Big mistake. As I said before, this boy is a little short upstairs. No, oh, Renegade goes after Cortez and misses in the ropes. Cortez needs to pull it all together right here and go after the Renegade while he's injured. Disqualification. That's despicable. Yeah, I agree. All that hugging going on, man, they gotta stop that. Oh, big suplex! Nice move by Shane Cortez. Allows him to get to his feet. Raymond is in a lot of trouble in the ring. No, he can't do this. Shane Cortez sets Raymond up. There's the suplex. Shane Cortez takes on the original Renegade and Flamin' Raymond. What a wrestler. <laughs> Renegade into the ropes. There's a whip. Shane. This, could be, this, could prove, this could be fatal for Shane Cortez. He doesn't know. Shane Cortez on the top ropes, really going after the original Renegade tonight. There he goes! Oh. oh, ladies and gentlemen, Shane Cortez defeats the original Renegade for the World Wrestling Empire television belt. There goes Shane Cortez after his belt. The World Wrestling Empire Television Championship Belt. This match will be under official program by Akbar at the WWE headquarters. Because uh, of the bias officiating, and you must admit that the bias officiating was there. All I know is that Doug McCoy was injured at the hands of the bad boys almost two months ago, is just now able to return to the World Wrestling Empire, and there he defeats the original Renegade. Renegade not at all happy about Renegade what's going on. Good. He's taking it to Shane Cortez. They're going to duke it out. Doug McCoy goes after Flamin' Raymond. Doug McCoy's got Flamin' Raymond in a sleeper hole. Raymond is out in the mat. Doug McCoy's got a pair of clippers. You know, oh, Doug McCoy's gone after Raymond in that beard. A little bit of retaliation for the haircut Flamin' Raymond gave Doug McCoy a few months ago. And nobody is there to protect Raymond. Shane Cortez taking it to the original Renegade. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and now Doug McCoy gets the scissors. Here comes Bernard Funk. Woo! Oh, what? What a match! Shane Cortez. 
this is officially the winner of the world wrestling empire television belt what We're going to let him take care of Flamin' Raymond there in the ring. Let's get a word in from our sponsors, and we're going to be right back on the ledge with the General Skandar Akbar, and you're watching the World Wrestling Empire. Hi there. The World Wrestling Empire is on the move, and we want to take you with us. Not around the globe, but around the channel. That's right. Starting Sunday, December 3rd, our time slot is moving to noon Sundays. That's noon, as in 12 o'clock daylight. Hey, no more sneaking around to stay up late or oversleeping on Fridays. So get this straight. Don't look for us on Thursday, November 30th, because we won't be there. That's Sundays at noon, starting December 2nd, TCI Cable, Channel 9. Promotional consideration provided by the following. Connolly Appliances, home of service after the sale. Radio City CB, the place for CBs and accessories. Dolphin Manufacturing, proud builders of the World Wrestling Empire set. Golden Pond, one of the largest selections of pre-owned musical instruments in the area. Conley's is expanding. No, not Jimmy, the showroom. To make more room for all your appliance needs. We've expanded our lines of new furniture with Washington Dykes and Seville. And as always, we have a full line of quality pre-owned appliances. So whether you need a refrigerator, stove, washer, dryer, TV, or VCR, come to Conley Appliances and either purchase or rent to own. And don't forget our service after the sale. Come by Conley's on the corner of 49th West Avenue and Charles Page Boulevard and see our expanded showroom. And remember... Vern Jewelry is still next door. Can you keep a secret? The next World Wrestling Empire live event is Saturday night, December 2nd. The secret? WWE is bringing in some nationally known wrestling talent to compete in our arena. Who are they? It's a secret. They won't even tell me yet. Saturday night, December 2nd, National Guard Army, 4200 North Mingo Valley Expressway. Doors open at 7 o'clock, bell time's at 8 o'clock. Watch the space for more details. And shh. Don't tell anybody. Coming soon to a video store near you. Battles and bloodbaths of the World Wrestling Empire. You asked for it, you got it. Most of these matches were far too violent to show on television, so this is the only way to view them. Watch this space for more details, or write the address on the screen. Oh, welcome back to the World Wrestling Empire, where we have seen what can only be described as one heck of a night of, of professional wrestling action. Skandar Akbar was so upset over what he has just seen, he broke my pumpkin and took off. And so the lovely Kathy decided to join me while we finished up the recap. Well, I've had a good night tonight. Well, thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, it was a blast. We hope to have you back soon. Of course, we saw Otto Von Heffler defeat Crazy Carl. Uh, that was kind of an iffy win, if you ask me. Rebel and Predator took it to the uh, boys of rock and roll, newcomers to the Empire. We hope those guys have better luck in future matches. And then you saw Red Eagle defeating Annihilator for the World Wrestling Empire heavyweight belt. Man, a, a battle of the behemoths. What can you say about those guys? And then, of course, the match that really ticked off Skandar Akbar. Shane Cortez defeats the original Renegade for the World Wrestling Empire television title. What else can we say? How about this? If you want to write to the World Wrestling Empire, or you can write to Kathy. Hey, it's P.O. Box 593, Owasso, Oklahoma, 74055. How's that? Wonderful. All right. Good night, Kayla. We'll see you next week right here on the World Wrestling Empire.
Bob Burns is.